Now, when the Nintendo Switch was announced, I already knew it was going to be an amazing device because the concept behind it was genius. However, the thing that ultimately made me convinced of this was the first game they ever released, Breath of the Wild. This Zelda game had a special design philosophy running through the entire game, which captured millions of people. And they also worked very well with the ideas the Nintendo Switch represented. And I loved it! And one of the most interesting enemies that made a return in this game was the Lionel, a gigantic creature that everyone fears and can destroy you in a matter of seconds, especially in the beginning of the game. And so a lot of people try to avoid them, usually by sneaking around, running like their life depends on it, or by using a quite special mask. However, thanks to this, a lot of rumors and so-called techniques popped up online about how to avoid them. And according to some, you can use Use certain tricks that fool the Lionel completely, and so he will never attack you no matter what you do. So is any of this true? Is there some sort of golden trick? Can you actually become some sort of friends with a Lionel just like you can with the Bacoblin? Well, let's find out. And believe me, this will be a fun one, as we will be doing some real life myth busting. Now in the game you only come across Lionels later on, unless you just explore a bunch and ignore the main quest of the game, because if you follow the story, you will most likely go to the Zoras first. The game is designed in such a way that it leads you there subconsciously. That's why most people start off with the Zoras first. There is actually a reason why that's a common thing. And there you have to collect shock arrows so you can get inside of the divine beast you must take back from Ganon. However, getting them is risky as hell, because you have to sneak around an area where a Lionel roams, because he is the one shooting the arrows. Now in order to pull this off, you have to sneak around this area, because as soon as the Lionel sees you, he will get angry and attacks. And most people at that point weren't good enough at the game to beat a monster like that, and the lack of items doesn't help either. Thanks to this, people started to value the ability to avoid them, and so any tips, tricks or techniques that would help are worth their weight in gold. Because after this you will encounter a lot more of them, and almost all of them react the exact same way. After spotting you, a Lionel will often refrain from attacking for a short period of time and instead stares you down. This allows you to escape before it initiates a battle, which you want to do at times because these monsters are fast, use strong weapons and can match Link in almost every way. Heck, they can even shoot gigantic fireballs and will shoot elemental arrows into the sky that will rain down on you. So I get why especially new players do not want to mess with them. And so people started to look for ways to avoid them more effectively. And in time, they found out there was an item that could help with all of this. The Lionel Mask. You can buy it from a strange character known as Kilton, who runs the Fang and Bone Shop. Which is a bit of a mystery on its own. But we're not gonna cover that today. Now he sells it for 999 mon. Which is some sort of currency he came up with. It's a bit weird. And with it, you can get around Lionels more easily. It can be used to temporarily avoid being attacked by Lionels, and this also goes for another mask known as Majora's Mask. But these will only work for a short amount of time, and the Lionels will attack Link if he lingers too long. However, according to some people online, there was a way you could use this mask that allows you to walk up to them without a problem. Now the rumor states that if Link is riding a horse while wearing the Lionel mask, Lionels will take longer to see through your disguise and turn hostile than they would if you're dismounted. Heck, some even claim that Lionels wouldn't be aggressive or hostile towards you at all, allowing you to kind of uh, <laughs> hang out with them. According to Redditor uh, May 2000 it is possible to completely trick a Lionel into thinking you're not an imposter. And he even showed this off in a video he made. Although, unfortunately, it was deleted from Reddit for some reason. But is this even true? Can you really pull this off? Well, let's put it to the test by jumping right into Breath of the Wild. All right, over there is a Lionel, and we will be testing three different things. Facing him without a mask, facing him with a mask, 
and facing him with a mask while on the back of a horse. With the first one, you can see right away that the Lionel is pissed off. He draws his weapon and is ready for combat. And within 30 seconds, he will attack. Now, if you go to him with a mask, he will just kind of stand there and look at you. But again, after 30 seconds, he will grab his weapon and attack. Now for the big test. What happens when you're on the back of a horse? Well, sadly enough, again, after 30 seconds, he attacks you and sees through your disguise. So clearly a Lionel will always take precisely 30 seconds to see through the mask after noticing Link's presence, regardless of whether he's mounted or not. So sadly enough, this rumor is completely fake. There's no way you can actually trick a Lionel. They are way too smart. And I'm not the only one who looked into this. A YouTuber I know, known as Brett Pirate, also looked into this ages ago. He posted something on Reddit that debunked this rumor as well. And even other people like Jehent uploaded videos showing off what happens in each scenario side by side. In that video, you can see what happens incredibly well. And no matter what you do, he will attack. But I did find something else that allows you to not really get spotted by a Lionel. And using this trick, you can even kill one quite easily. In a video by the channel Switch Life called Breath of the Wild Lionel Blind Spot Trick, the player shows off something amazing. He's able to attack and stun a Lionel again and again and again without the beast coming for him at any point. Now he states in the video that this is possible because Lionels will search for what hit them by looking in the direction from where they got hit. And so all you gotta do is stun them, attack from the front, and before he gets up again, move to the opposite side. And if you do this correctly, he won't be able to spot you. And you can just do this over and over and over until he dies. Now, I bet that the armor he wears helps, because it increases his stealth, and the same goes for the 3x speed potion. But clearly, there are ways to avoid them successfully, using stealth and knowledge of how they actually function in-game. But sadly enough, it is not possible to trick Lionels the same way as you can with a Coblin using a mask. So while completely blending in with Lionels is impossible in the game, there are other ways you can trick them, which are pretty effective as you just saw. However, this isn't the only rumor going around in the Nintendo community. For example, some people claim that there are secret portals in Ocarina of Time, while others say they found a way to play as Master Hand in Super Smash Bros. Melee for the GameCube. And I cover these on my channel as well. So be sure to click in the upper right corner or on the screen right now to watch those thank you all so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video more stuff is coming let me know in the comments what you want to see in the future like subscribe click the bell button please do all the good stuff for papa and uh yeah have a have a, have a good day i love you bye kisses <laughs> lamau <laughs>